in the bedroom. Mm, no, no, that sounds like a porn. Before we go any further, I will unpop my collar because I know it's gonna bother a lot of people. <laughs> What's up everybody? So today I thought I would do a topic that I'm actually very passionate about, which you guys might not know this. It's conspiracy theories. Now let me tell you a little bit about my past with conspiracy theories. In college, I actually took a course called Conspiracy Theories. Um, I wasn't sure when I signed up if it was going to be real or not. <laughs> Oh shit, that was so stupid. But the course was called Conspiracy Theories, and the first thing that my professor told me was... Guys, throughout this semester, we're gonna be going over a lot of different theories. Now there's only one rule to conspiracy theories. Immediately after you read the opening theories, both sides, you have to pick one side that you feel is more true. However, that's gonna be an issue today, because these conspiracy theories that I'm gonna go over are... are so stupid! I'm gonna give you seven of the world's dumbest conspiracy theories, and you guys can then tweet me or in the comments down below, share some more really crazy conspiracy theories. Did this ring light just get brighter? Because I feel like I'm more blinded now. There's still so, so many conspiracies out there that still need to be resolved that, you know, we don't really know what to do with the information that we're getting. That's a joke, that was an Illuminati joke. I'm not a part of the Illuminati. No, I'm really not, okay. So let's get into it. Here are seven of the world's dumbest conspiracy theories that are actual theories. Theory number one. Let's forget about the moon landing being fake and let's talk about the actual moon being fake. The moon is actually a hologram and it's not even real. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's got time for this shit? Now there is video evidence, lots of video evidence on YouTube of these hologram lines that are on the moon. Now what this guy is saying is that those are hologram lines and it has nothing to do with a camera malfunction whatsoever. There's lots of videos that are documenting. Documenting? Wow. Oh my god. There's a conspiracy that I went to school as well. They're saying the moon is powered by this massive electrical system and that it is just a hologram and it's really hiding something behind it. It's true. I mean, that's not true, but that this is a real conspiracy theory. Yeah. Conspiracy number two. The US government dropped fake snow on Georgia. It's pretty rare for Georgia to get snow. And so one year, Georgia got snow. Georgia's not an old lady with a lot of cats. That's kind of what the name represents for me in my head. Sorry if your name's Georgia, by the way. Now this guy decides to go outside and be like, guys, this is too weird. Georgia never gets snow. Why are we getting snow? This can't be real snow. Reaches down, grabs a bunch of snow, takes a lighter, and decides to try melting the snow to see if it's legit. Oh my god. All of a sudden, the snow does not turn into a puddle when he holds it over the flame. No! In fact, it turns black and smells like chemicals. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is true. The US government dropped fake snow on Georgia. Oh my god, this guy's a genius. No, he's not, because here's what happened. It was legit snow. And so when he decided to burn it, it was soot from his lighter that was turning the snow black. Why didn't the snow melt right away when it hit the flame? If you put snow on an open flame, it's gonna go to slush before it actually turns into water. Okay. Okay, Dan. Uh, what was the smell then? What was that chemical smell he was smelling? It was the, uh, it was the fumes from the lighter. <laughs> Conspiracy number three. Obama has a secret machine that controls the weather. AKA probably the coolest thing ever. They're saying that every time Obama makes a mistake or he tries to cover up a political scandal, he decides to throw out a hurricane or some sort of weather disaster somewhere. Everyone's gonna focus on everybody that is getting injured and hurt and dying instead of his political scandal. This isn't an episode of Scooby-Doo. To have that in real life, let's think about that. How big would this machine have to be for one? Who would manufacture it? What would it run on? There's a lot of questions that need to be answered before anybody convinces me that there's this weather machine that Obama controls going, let's, I wanna play Sims today. Let's, let's cut the hurricane over in Louisiana. Number four, this one is absolutely crazy, but there's a lot of theories behind it. I'm gonna share a few of them. The Denver airport is the evilest place on earth. Now, even when I'm saying these sentences, I'm like, this is so crazy. Like, how do people come up with this? It's just a totally different mind. Basically, they're saying that the Denver airport is the evilest place on earth. Why? Because it it's home to neo-Nazis, Satan himself, the Illuminati as well. Okay, so Denver had an airport, but they decided to build another one. In fact, one of the largest ones in the United States. And apparently the new one had almost no new technological advancements, meaning it was pretty much the same as the old one, just a lot bigger. No, nothing evil about that, right? No, no, of course not. What's so evil about size? Well. Yeah! <laughs> First off, it starts with the creepy murals. There are a handful of creepy murals 
painted throughout the Denver airport. Uh, some of them showing genocide, the world destruction based on Mayan pieces, to the fact that there was already an airport in Denver, they decided to build another one just a lot bigger. Okay, nothing really evil about that, but definitely suspicious, okay. They say that they are secretly spraying people with hepatitis B so that they can kill off some of the world's population because of the new world order. Now what this is in a nutshell, the world's most powerful people, figureheads, the richest, the most famous, all came together and made a club called the New World Order. Illuminati, whatever. Now they need to bring the world's population down to two billion. How are they doing that? Well, apparently in the Denver airport, they're spraying people with hepatitis B. And last but not least, apparently the runways, if you look on Google Maps, here's a shot, look like a swastika. Or maybe it's because they need to accept planes from every direction. This one bothers me just, <laughs> it bothers me in a funny, weird way. Just because, why Denver, first off, it's very, very odd, random place to pick as the evilest place on earth. They do say that the devil lives underneath the airport. Um, a next one, okay. Number five, this one is easily my favorite one of the entire list. They're saying that Jay-Z is a time-hopping vampire. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous and stupid, but I decided to look into it and listen to this, okay. Attributing Jay-Z's success to his inability to die. Basically, he's a real-life Edward Cullen. And where this comes from is a photo that was taken in 1939 in Harlem. And in the photo, there's a guy that looks exactly like Jay-Z. Here it is. I thought this was funny only because the photo legitimately does look like Jay-Z. Really, are you gonna become a, a famous rapper if you could time hop? There's so much more crazy, interesting stuff you could do. Um, although he is married to Beyonce, which is, which is definitely something that I would time hop to be able to coordinate. Anyways, uh, this is getting really dumb. <laughs> Number six, the Beatles were fake. Essentially what it was was an image of four guys. So Paul, John, George, and Ringo Starr. Each one of them had multiple actors that all looked the same that switched up while they performed. The Beatles are known to have conspiracies about them. In fact, one of the biggest ones is Paul McCartney actually died and they replaced him. And there's actually a book, a really good book that I read called The Walrus Was Paul. Look into that one, it is absolutely interesting, totally crazy. Uh, one of my favorite conspiracies out there to date is the Paul McCartney one. And last but not least, conspiracy number seven. This one is about fluoride being in drinking water. Now, if you're one of the lucky ones in this world that has tap water to drink from at any time, there's most likely fluoride in that. Now, what the conspiracy is, is that Hitler wanted to control people's minds. And him and his team decided, you know what? We need to put fluoride in the water. They're not gonna taste it, but what's gonna happen is the buildup of fluoride is gonna go right to their brain, and it's gonna make them do things that we kinda tell them to, and their brain's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, totally, it's a great idea, do it. Now the reason there's fluoride in our drinking water is to prevent tooth decay. In fact, it has been named one of the 10 greatest health achievements in the 20th century. That's how good of an idea that was. It is not meant for mind control. In fact, they, they, they are very strict as to how much fluoride they put into the drinking water to prevent anything like build up in your body. Now those are seven of the craziest conspiracies out there. There are hundreds of thousands of conspiracies out there. The number one most popular conspiracy theory in the world is that Area 51 has aliens. I would love for you guys to tweet me your favorite conspiracies or even try to create a conspiracy theory about this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you guys that were able to get one of my sweaters, uh, by the way, I was selling sweaters. They sold out in almost 10 minutes. They're going places like Hong Kong, London, Netherlands, all over the United States, all over Canada. I'm packaging them up now. There's gonna be three mystery goodies that are inside. Hopefully I'll get them all shipped out by Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are seven of the world's craziest conspiracy theories. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.